The ball should never be behind center and your weight should always be over your front foot. You should translate your upper body over your front leg. Your head should be in front of the ball. Your sternum should be in front of the ball. Then when you swing, there is no back weight shift. There is no head movement. Your head never should move at all with a wedge back. Your axis of rotation is C7, top of your spine. Your head should move to the right. Now, that, you do this with everything, and that's no good. All that's going to do is make it go straight up in the air. Now, you get back to where you started, and you don't really scoop it too bad. I mean, you get your left wrist is pretty good right there. I mean, you're not exactly casting the club like you think you are, but... So I don't like all this movement off the ball, for sure. Yeah, that's a big problem. That is just going to promote inconsistency. So you just got to get in front of a mirror. If this is a door jam, you just got to practice, you know, like turning and feeling like you're actually loading maybe more into your lead leg. Make your head go this direction. Right. Try to make your head go to the left, not to the right. Now, the net effect is you don't do too bad getting back to where you started but I just don't think that that's necessary to move that far nobody does that what's that be, I said I've always done that it used to be way worse way worse I don't oh, know how yeah. it could get any worse yeah. I, I mean that's a, a full three. head you're moving a full head with a 60 I mean that's yeah. ridiculous so yeah you got to stand and feel like you're you're over the, your front foot more, definitely. And you'll definitely take a divot and you'll hit it lower.